In this class we will see that SOLIDWORKS allows you to import and export files, working with various extensions and facilitating the exchange of files between different software. Come on, let's go. You can open parts from previous versions of SOLIDWORKS in new versions, keeping the modeling tree with all the features of creating the part. Note this piece, it was created in an earlier version of SOLIDWORKS, which we can verify by positioning the mouse over the save icon. If we save this piece, it will be converted to the 2013 version. We have seen that as of 2013 we can open files of this version in SOLIDWORKS 2012 Service Pack 5. However, we are unable to open parts of recent versions and other old versions of software. And the solution in these cases is to save the part to an alternate extension and open in SOLIDWORKS, however, some information may be lost. We can save as IGES, STEP, SAT, among other formats, but the best format for file exchange between SOLIDWORKS from previous versions is the Parasolid format. By clicking on Options, we can define in which version we want to save the part. Note that we have options for each extension type selected. We leave with the default version set, click OK and click Save. Now let's open the file by going to File, Open. We set the desired extension Parasolid and locate the file easily. We click Open. Note that the diagnostic import has been applied and the command informs us that there were no problems with this file. We have confirmed and now displays the feature works box, which asks if we want to recognize the features used in modeling this part. By clicking on options, we can choose whether this recognition will overwrite the current file or be done in a new file. We leave the default settings set and click Yes. See that Property Manager offers several options, including we can choose which features should be recognized automatically. With the default options, we confirm. See that SOLIDWORKS has automatically rebuilt the design tree for this piece and we can access the features and even edit them. See that the original file Parasolid contains only the feature import in one. We cannot access the design features of this part but we can use SOLIDWORKS tools to make the necessary modifications. After making the modifications and clicking Save, SOLIDWORKS opens the Save as window, leaving the part extension selected by default. Let us now look at another case where we received an IGES file from a client. We opened it SOLIDWORKS. The IGES standard is one of the oldest standard formats of 3D files and usually minor errors occur in the imported geometry. Note that the diagnostic import has been applied and an error has been detected. To automatically fix all existing problems, we click on the Attempt to Heal All option. Note that a message states that the template has been successfully corrected. See that the box Feature Works appears and we click Yes. You see that an error occurs because the model contains overlapping solids, because it probably originated from an assembly, 
and the feature cannot be applied. We have two imported features and we can make the desired modifications by applying new features. If we want to send only an image of the SOLIDWORKS part or assembly to a customer, we save it in the JPEG extension, or as PDF. Let's see now how to work with DWG files. SOLIDWORKS has a specific application to open AutoCAD documents that is DWG Editor, but we can import AutoCAD parts directly into SOLIDWORKS. We access the open command and locate the part in the DWG extension. Note that a window opens, where we can set the import options of the file. See that we can choose to create a SOLIDWORKS drawing file, or import into a new part file. We choose the options shown and click forward. Note the new screen, where we can zoom, move and rotate the view of the part, as well as define the unit of measurement and layers to be imported. We click finish and see that the model has been opened and the feature manager shows us several features of imported curves. We finish this lesson, where we saw the main ways of importing and exporting SOLIDWORKS files. Clarifying the questions pertaining to the subject through the examples shown.